Hey everybody, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Ken. Today we're going to be cooking up a seafood pot pie and I can't wait to get into this. This is a new recipe for me, so just bear with me for a second. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off with some chopped celery, onions, and a couple of cloves of garlic. I've got two celery stalks, stalks excuse me, whoop, oh, left some in there, that I chopped up nice and thin. And then I've got one large sweet Vidalia onion that I cut up too and a couple of cloves of garlic. In this I already had about a half a stick of butter um, melted, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cook down these onions, cook down this celery until they get nice and clear, and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients to it. Alright, our onions are looking good. You can see they're getting nice and clear. The garlic's cooking up down in there. Now while this was going, I cut up a potato. Big. Potato. We're going to take that, we're going to put that down in there. And then to this, we're going to add a half a cup of corn. All that in there. About a cup of chopped portobello mushrooms. And then I, we're going to start off with a cup of heavy cream. We might need to add a little bit more cream to it. Get this all stirred up. What we're going to do is we're going to let this start cooking together. Get some of these flavors kind of blending together. We're going to put our seasoning in. I've got about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and about a tablespoon of some hot sauce. I've got some crushed black pepper and some Old Bay seasoning. Two tablespoons of Old Bay and about a tablespoon of crushed black pepper. That pretty color. Right, I'm gonna get this all stirred up. Let this cook down for a little bit. Kind of turn your heat down a little bit. All right, now to this, we're going to add two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Get this all nice and stirred up. I'm going to check this texture. I think I am going to need a little bit more cream in here. It's a little too thick right now because we're going to want this to cook down a little bit before we add our seafood to it. That should do. And once all these flavors get blended together, we're going to put together our pie crust, put our seafood in here, then we're going to bake our pie probably for about 35 minutes at 325 degrees. All right, now that everything's cooked down, our potatoes are cooked a little bit, they'll cook some more when we put them in the oven, we're going to add our scallops to this. I've got a couple of big, about half a pound of really large scallops. We're going to put them in here, let this heat cook them a little bit. They'll take a little bit longer than the, the shrimp and fish. But we're just going to stir this all in here. Get them all mixed in. All right, now that our scallops have had time to cook a little, we're going to pull this off this heat, let it cool down a bit. We're going to start working on our pie. Now what I've got, I've got about half a pound of peeled and deveined shrimp and just one group of filet. You could use whatever white fish you want, but you just want to take it and spread your fish and shrimp all throughout this bottom crust I'm using a big pie crust here. It's okay. It doesn't go all the way to the top. We'll just fill it in with the filling. I'll set that down. All right, now we're going to take a spoon out of here, a ladle. And we're going to just grab a hold of our scallops, put this in here. Spread that around. Keep adding it. 
fill this all the way up to the top. You might have some of this left over. I'm actually going to slide this around to make a big mess. Might have a little left over. It's okay. You can make some small, little individual pies with it. I don't think it's going to be much that's left. Make sure you get all those scallops in there. And when this is in the oven, that'll give those shrimp and fish cubes a good chance to, to get going. All right, that was just enough. Get it up here on top. Set this aside. I'm gonna start working on our crust on here. Just slide, just let it fall over. Straighten her up. Got our crust on there. Now what you're gonna do is take a little bit of egg wash. You're just gonna brush, brush the top of this crust a little. Not too much on there, just enough to get a nice little golden color on it. All right, now we're gonna put this in the oven, like I said, at 325 degrees, probably for about 35 minutes. All right, now that our seafood pot pie has been cooking in the oven for about 35 minutes, we're gonna pull it out and see how it looks. Oh yeah, crust getting nice and golden. It's all bubbling. This is gonna be heavy. Wow, oh, look at that. How pretty does that look? turned out perfect. And when you serve this, you're going to want to ladle it out into a little bowl. Maybe top it with a little um, Old Bay, some head-on shrimp with some Old Bay covered on them. It'll be delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's In the Kitchen with Ken, and I hope you give this recipe a try. We'll see you next time. Bye.